Live from the Starfield International Ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Welcome to the 69th Annual Golden Globe Awards. And now, your host for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Gervais. So, where was I? Um, <laughs> nervous? Don't be. This isn't about you. Right. Hello, I'm Ricky Gervais, and welcome to the 69th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles. Voted for by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Tonight, you get Britain's biggest comedian hosting the world's second biggest award show, on America's third biggest network. <laughs> Sorry, is it? It's fourth. It's fourth. For any of you who don't know, the Golden Globes are just like the Oscars, but without all that esteem. Yeah. <laughs> the Golden Globes are to the Oscars what Kim Kardashian is to Kate Middleton, basically. <laughs> what? A bit louder. Bit trashier, bit drunker, and more easily bought. Um, allegedly, nothing's been proved. But <laughs> who needs the Oscars? Not me, and not Eddie Murphy. He walked out on them. He said no, and good for him. But when the man who said yes to Norbit says no to you, <laughs> you know you're in trouble. I love Eddie Murphy. He loves dress up doesn't he? Um, versatile. He's versatile. No, he is. Bit of trivia for you, actually. Eddie Murphy and Adam Sandler, between them, played all the parts in the movie The Help. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> they were brilliant. I can't believe they're not here. Or maybe they are. They're masters of disguise. They could be... <clears throat> now, the Hollywood Foreign Press have warned me that if I insult any of you or any of them, or offend any viewers, or cause any controversy whatsoever, they'll definitely invite me back next year as well. <laughs> they actually gave me a list of rules. I'm going to ignore them, but I thought it would be good to read them out, OK? This is real, OK? No profanity. That's fine. I've got a huge vocabulary. <laughs> no nudity. See, that's a shame, because I've got a huge... <laughs> ..vocabulary. Um, but a tiny penis. No, no, it's true. Doesn't matter. I don't care. It works. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. I don't... I don't... No smut or innuendo. And I'm not to libel anyone. <laughs> and I mustn't mention Mel Gibson this year. Uh, not his private life, his politics, his recent films, and especially not Jodie Foster's Beaver. Um, I haven't seen it myself. Um, I've spoken to a lot of guys here, they haven't seen it either, but that doesn't mean it's not any good. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't care. Um, it's been an amazing year in show business. It's not all been good news. What's with all the divorces? What's going on? I mean, Arnold and Maria, J-Lo and Mark Antony, Ashton and Demi, Kim Kardashian and some guy no one will ever remember. He wasn't, he wasn't around long. 72 days. A marriage that lasted 72 days. I've sat through longer James Cameron acceptance speeches <laughs> than that. Other celebrity scandal. Justin Bieber nearly had to take a paternity test. <laughs> what a waste of a test that would have been. <laughs> no, he's not the father. The only way that he could have impregnated a girl was if he'd borrowed one of Martha Stewart's old turkey basters. <laughs> Open wide. Um, it's been a, a big year for women in film. Bridesmaids, one of my favourite comedies of the year, yeah. <laughs> the girls finally proved that they can be as raunchy as the men. Farting, burping, 
cursing, performing wild sex acts, even pooping in the sink. I, I actually heard for a search the cast spent the weekend with Dame Helen Mirren. She's dreadful, honestly. You don't, you don't see a lot of it because she's got good PR, but she's off the rails. Uh, <laughs> But the Golden Globes aren't just about movies. It also celebrates the best in TV as well. New shows like The Amazing Homeland, which is just... In it's amazing. <laughs> and, and returning shows like Boardwalk Empire. Um, I love that show. It's great. Um, it's, for those who don't know, it's about a load of immigrants who came to America about 100 years ago, and they got involved in bribery and corruption, and they worked their way up into high society. But enough about the Hollywood foreign press. <laughs> I'm joking. I love them. And they're good sports for inviting me back. And what I didn't know, they do an awful lot for charity and they're non-profit organisation, just like NBC. So, thank... <laughs> Shall we get on with it? This time last year, our first presenter was the biggest movie star on the planet. But I insulted his film, The Tourist, causing his career to plummet so far that he was forced to work with me on my new show, Life's Too Short, which premieres on HBO on February the 19th. <laughs> Please welcome the man who will wear literally anything Tim Burton tells him to, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Just before, I want to ask you a question. It's real. You can have some. Just checking. Yeah. Um, and be honest. What? Are you on recreational drugs? I'm joking. No, that's not the question. <laughs> and we all know the answer. Um, have you... Ready? I, I guess so. Have you seen The Tourist yet? <laughs> have you? Uh, uh, no. Oh, boy, he's fun. 